Hey, welcome to this part, brand new part. This is a new playlist on Google Professional Data Engineer. So this is the part one. So there will be some questions which will be available to the public. Some questions which will be private only for members. Which members? Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja? So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit subscribe. You will keep getting alerts on all AWS, Google Cloud, Azure Cloud certification content. There is also a join button below the video. Please click that and at least become Cloud Kernel. Cloud Soldier is only for stickers and emojis. You can take that as well if you are interested in posting your stickers, emojis on this channel. So you have your company which is using TensorFlow. So this is a service which helps you build reliability and performance for AI applications. We are not talking about web application. We are talking about AI application. So it has large number of neurons and layers. So you can read this documentation if you want to understand neuron. It is similar to your brain neuron that you have humans have in their brain. But this one TensorFlow is about neural networks for deep learning, AI based learning and so on. Now see the model is fitting well for training data. In the AI world, we all know that you have to train a model of using the training data and then you use your real data so what this thing is when you use new data right suppose you had some training data of for example 100,000 records now you get some new data 50,000 more data you, you need you are using that but you see this TensorFlow neural network model performs poorly. How can you address? So the first method, right, it is talking about threading. So by the word threading, what I got is you can create new threads. Threads are like people in your team. If you have a five person team and you want to do more work, then you add one more person. So that is one more thread. So threading will is a solution we use when you want to put more CPU to improve performance. So this is wrong. B is talking about serialization. Now what is serialization? See if you talk about serialization, it is in the machine learning or AI world, you can transform the overall data structure okay, <clears throat> or the model, trained model into flexible formats of retrieval okay that means uh, this is a solution to help you uh, read faster for in production so serialization will probably split it into small pieces so that the decomposition later is easy primarily because of probably reads so this will not necessarily help you with reading new data in a performant way you know, dropout methods so this is a, a fantastic article by Richmond Alke or Alec I don't know how do you pronounce it so this is talking about dropout this is a common regularization technique and uh, and what it does is it omits neurons at each training step and how does it omit uh, randomly so this is one way of showing how dropout works in layman's term if you have a university and 200 students 
now 50 new students come in uh, the teacher is finding it difficult so instead of adding new teacher like is threading as a new teacher like adding more cpu we would wait some students anyways every year will drop out so this dropout technique will help reduce the load on the professors just like elon musk is doing with twitter he asked people that they will have to work hard there will be some weak people who will leave and this is the way to clear out weeds in the organization so dropout method is a weed clearing method this is my answer okay so fourth one is dimensionality reduction so this is a website from analytics vidya and it is talking about how dimensionality reduction helps basically it reduces the number of dimensions by excluding less useful features so in our example with the university students are more and professors are finding it difficult so what option d suggests is we will remove some subjects which are not very useful if you have eight subjects and there are something like economics or uh, drawing for uh, computer science uh, graduation level then they might say okay let us reduce the number of subjects so that the professors i mean that may help the professors but you see it will not be that helpful in this scenario because waiting for some students to go away is better than reducing the course material itself so this would be my final answer so here in this question you want to make a clothing recommendation based on certain preferences suppose you know that this is a person and she always likes uh, lehenga over sari if you know that preference then you can make clothing recommendations but this preference may change over time right she liked it liked lehenga three years back but did that change over time so you are building a data pipeline to stream new data back into the model and you want to use this data to train the model so that means you had a model so this was your model with the old data and you knew that this uh, lady loves langas okay now there, there is a new data coming in for the preference and you also want to use that to train your model to make recommendations so what should you do so a says that you retrain the model only on new data but that will not work because you have old and new data both right you want to use both to derive insights uh, this will work b because it is making use of both existing data and new data now c doesn't make sense it says you train on existing data and you use new data as your test set so both are contradicting each other d says you train new data while using existing. So this is also contradicting so this these two are simple ones c and d was easy to say that these were wrong so this is my final answer see this question is very easy they have one table okay this is one table and only this table had data and people were doing a self join with this table itself to create reports to generate reports okay now your data increased okay, you have 100 times more data now the same mechanism will not work why because it will give performance issues like it takes too long you see this it takes too long or sometimes they get error that the compute resources are not sufficient so now what will you do uh, will you change your design or will you add more compute if you say option a this tells you to add more capacity memory and disk to the database but have you tried to redesign this first instead of adding resources 
that should be our first goal so this is telling you increase it 200 times because your data increase 100 times so you increase increase the resources to 200 times that solution never works in the real world if you are a bad bad developer if you are a bad developer this does not mean project will give you more infrastructure improve your skills become a good developer improve your design skills and deliver better design okay now we understand oh we have to give better design so let us look at b b saying the same table they will break this into smaller smaller shards and they will generate reports with pre-specified data ranges that means you still you still you still cannot cannot remove self joints see when you are seeing performance is low boss remove the self join make the design such that you do not require to use self joints see b is telling i will still use the same table I, it's just that i will probably partition this but boss this will not remove your self join now c looks correct this is what we need a perfect scenario you will have to normalize this table when what we say normalize means you make instead of one table make multiple tables if this had 50 fields make these two tables and maybe split it 25 25 here so that way you don't have to do a self join so what they are doing is they are creating patient table they are creating visits table and now you are avoiding self join perfect so this is my answer so d you guys might say hey some people always put in the comment hey i think d was the answer so d is still not removing your need for self join you are partitioning it small tables that is partition and you will partition for each clinic so god knows if each clinic you can partition so you will have suppose you have 100 times the patient records and there are so many clinics like 25000 clinics so you will create 25000 partitions right so always i say there will be at least one solution one option which will be very stupid option very foolish this is that option this would be my final answer hey by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button this will help you stay tuned to the aws azure and google cloud certification content you can see so many testimonies on this channel below the video the comments so many people passed using these contents what are you waiting for this brings us to the end of this part by the way you also have an option to become a member a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member these two will help you gain access to the cloud certification materials stay tuned and see you in the next part